My photos can be taken with an iPhone or iPad. There at the same time a full resolution still photo as well as about a three second video with sound. Live photos have their own media type album here in the sidebar. To view a live photo here in Photos for Mac, expand it in the viewer and hover over the live icon here in the upper left. If I jump into edit mode, we can apply all the same color and light adjustments to a live photo as any other image. At the bottom of this window, we can trim the start and end points of the live photo using these handles. Click and drag on this white box to adjust which frame of the live photo will be the key photo. This is the frame that's going to represent the image when the video part isn't being played. Click Make Key Photo to set it to this frame. To the right, we can turn off the sound for the live photo. Unfortunately, there's no way to adjust the volume level. It's only on or off. With this menu, we can switch from the standard live photo, which will play for about three seconds and then stop, to loop, bounce, or long exposure. With loop, the video simply plays over and over from beginning to end, beginning to end. We can see each time the video loops, the moving flag and birds sort of fade out and back in. Switch to bounce, and the video will play from beginning to end, and then in reverse, end to beginning, and so on. We can see that here with this bird moving back and forth in the air. Switch to long exposure and any movement that occurs in the live photo creates a motion blur. This usually works best with shots of flowing water. In this example, the water flowing over the rocks is blurred while the rest of the image remains crisp. We can also deactivate the live photo effect completely, essentially switching back to a standard still image. If I do that, we no longer will see the live icon when viewing the photo, but it does still appear in the live photo media type album. And we can turn live photo back on from edit mode. We can also turn live photo on or off for one or multiple items from the image menu. To turn a live photo into a still image only, we can duplicate it as a still. This will be a single frame still of the key photo that was set in the live photo. This duplicate is not going to appear in the live photo's media type album. You can learn more about live photos in the iPhone camera tutorial.